Hello everyone, it's me Zach here, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I will be doing a Black 5 review. So, on my live stream yesterday, which was the 31st of July, I did a, um, a little poll saying, what Bossman Games locomotive should I do a review on? Uh, the choices were the Merchant Navy or the Black 5, and so, it was even, so I decided to do the Black 5. So, We'll have a very quick look at the Black 5, I will give my honest opinion if I think you guys should buy it, is it worth it, what's it like, and uh, yeah, you get to hear my opinion of it. So uh, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Uh, oh, by the way. So uh, let's quickly go through them. So this is the LMS. 1930s livery right here uh, we'll, we'll get into the cab details later on and then we've got 44871 livery uh, the British Railways logo and it's an LMS locomotive and it holds 4,000 gallons of water now we've got a uh, cold version of this so I don't actually know what the difference is so uh, if you do if you guys do know please do let me in the comment in the comment section below because I don't know and then we've got a uh, the whatever that reads that it's uh, it's amazing because it's got a slightly different colored delivery so it's got a nameplate a uh, blue colored board and we've got Four five three four five, which looks good. Well, they're all in the same livery, but there are several versions of them. Then cold version, and we've got a very weathered version of the locomotive, which I love. There's a lot of good details in the weathered version, which um, looks really good. I absolutely love the black fives. They are a spectacular locomotive. So let's head to our locomotive, which is the 1930s one. So because uh, it's not opening, what we need to press is J. And we'll just put that on as well. Because I go really fast. So, normally, if I was to hold W, the reverser would activate. No, you have to hold down E first. While holding down E, and pressing W, we are going into forward position. Now, uh, for the different um, heads out. So we've got the uh, the classic. Then we've got this. Which you can see the fire just down there. If I press left again, we go a bit further along the locomotive. If I press that. While we're here, we'll get onto the smoke door. So, if I press on the smoke box door, click. I think I have to drag it. Ah, there we go. So, we can see the inside of the locomotive. But, uh, don't do it while you're moving because it otherwise comes up with a message like are you trying to get us killed which the answer is no but it thinks you are trying to do it so if I carry on pressing left it goes all to these different positions and we end up at this let's have a quick look at the fire Nicely detailed. Nicely detailed indeed by Bossman Games. Which is beautiful. Uh, funny enough, this locomotive can be found on the Bossman Games uh, website or it can be found on the Steam website. S sorry, Steam store. Uh, let's have a listen to the whistles. That's by pressing spacebar B. Mm -hmm. 
V. Okay, let's press B again. And off we go. Also, I should mention that it comes with headboards as well. So, uh, headboard number one. Sometimes you do have to press H quite a lot on your keyboard. For it to come up. Uh, maybe this livery doesn't have headboards. But I'll let you guys just check out the headboards for yourselves uh, when you uh, get this locomotive. Enjoy the journey. There is something I have forgotten to mention that um, this locomotive has got two valves. Yes, it has two regulator valve gears. So, let me show you the first one. So, if I open the regulator just slightly, it's got this uh, nice chuff to it. If I open it up, a little bit more and give it some welly. That. That's the second valve brake lead to just kick it in right there. It's a little bit louder than the first one and it really gives some noise. And that's what they would probably do if you're going up a very steep hill. And exactly why I don't use it too often when I drive in the Black 5. Just blowing the whistle as we're coming through the platform because we are not stopping. I'm just gonna. Ooh, we are low on the. Uh, they're on steam. Yes, yeah, so when you have your uh, regulator open all the way, you need to immediately go to 100% and shut it off straight away, otherwise, it will not close. That is something I should have mentioned near the time before. So sorry if I missed that. I, I do forget a little bit of stuff. Sort of thing, uh, any key crucial information I forgot, please also don't forget to uh, mention in the comment section below, and I will try to do a better job on um, letting you guys know what you need to n note. Mm -hmm. 
because we have gone quite on, uh, because we've done a couple of miles, I reckon we're going to stop at um, this particular station and we will uh, end the video there. Just for today. So if we put on the brakes just a tad. Fine. just a little bit Oh yeah, also note that you have to keep this on, otherwise your brake pressure will not stay on. And you might want to put, yeah, keep your blower on. Missing uh, apparently some track, but that's fine. Okay, so uh, thank you. No, <laughs> thank you very much, everyone, for watching today's video. Please do not forget to press that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell and hit that like button. The link in the description below will be to the locomotive and hopefully to the route thank you very much everyone for watching today's video uh, hope you all enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next video goodbye